Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with my NVIDIA Shield Android TV and I want to take a look at RetroX. This is an emulation front end for Android. It'll work on pretty much any Android device and they do have a version for the Raspberry Pi 3, but Android sucks on the Raspberry Pi so I haven't even tested it out. Let's go ahead and get started. There are two versions of RetroX, the free version and the paid version. The paid version is $12.99. That's exactly what I'm using here. I've tested other emulation front ends for Android and I find this the easiest to use. It just works straight out of the box. Pretty cool setup. I'm gonna show you how to use it real quick. If you're using this on a low end Android device, you're not gonna get any better performance out of the standalone emulators that you find on the App Store. Remember, this is not going to increase the performance of your Android box. The NVIDIA Shield Android TV is the way to go for emulation if you want to choose Android for that. So I already have a few systems set up like Dreamcast, Final Burn Alpha, and SNES, but I want to set up another one to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy to do. I have a one terabyte hard drive connected to my NVIDIA Shield TV with all of my games on it. I'm going to press the back button on my controller. Go to Manage Games. I'm going to add a folder for one system. I have all of my games separated into different folders per system. RetroX supports all of these systems here. 3DO, 2600, 7800. I'm just going to roll down the list for you. I'm going to add Sega Genesis. So I'm going to choose Sega Genesis. And like I said, I have a one terabyte hard drive with all of my games separated. And my Genesis are in a Mega Drive folder. Select this folder. Scan now. It's going to scan my 802 Genesis games. Press OK. And it added my games. I'm going to press the back button select system, and I'll find Sega Genesis, if I can, right here. And here are all of my Sega Genesis games. So as you can see, it did scrape box art, but up in the top left-hand corner, you can see the Space Invader guy. Some of these games will show a screenshot. I'm not sure how this is scraping the games, Hopefully in the near future, the devs will fix this. Some of these games will have screenshots, as you can see, some of them won't. I'm gonna start Altered Beast, play. RetroX will now download some extra packages required to run this game. Download. We are now ready to play. So I'm not 100% sure what kind of emulators this is using. I think, now don't quote me on this, I think it's using cores from RetroArch. I mean, it would make sense. It would be pretty easy to do that. I'll just start this game up real quick. The emulation is spot on for the NVIDIA Shield. And if you're on pretty much any old Android phone, you'll be able to play Genesis and SNES and NES with no trouble at all. But if you want to try 3DO and Dreamcast N64, you're going to need a beefier system like the Shield. I'll exit out of here. And there you have it. That was Genesis running. I'm going to add one more batch of games. So I'll press the back button. Manage games. Add a folder for one system. Or you can add single games if you want to do it that way. I'll add Game Boy Color. So I need to select my USB hard drive, all ROMs, Game Boy Color, select this folder, scan now. So I just added Game Boy Color, I'm going to find it. Now one thing I have noticed is when you boot it up it's going to look like this. You'll have recently played, new games to try, you can't set it to a single system yet. Hopefully the devs work on this. Back, select system, Game Boy Color, 
and here are my Game Boy Color games. So I'm really hoping they work out this problem with the screenshots up top there. It's nice to have the box art, but to have a screenshot also, or even add the box art there where the screenshot should be. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. There's a few other little things I wanna show you real quick. There's a couple settings that were just added. So we'll go to settings, display settings, games and emulators, border options. I'm gonna enable live borders, blur level, strong, medium, medium, that'll work for me. So now when I start a game up, we'll go with an NES game, Wild Gunman. As you can see, we have a little bit of stuff on the sides now. All these games were meant to be played at 4.3 aspect ratio, so I keep them like that, but you can stretch most of them to 16.9. It's gonna stretch everything out, it doesn't look good to me, but these blurred backgrounds look pretty decent. And that's it, it's very easy to set up. This is the paid version, it's $12.99. If you wanna try it, there is a free version you can try. I really can't tell you what's not available in the free version because I bought it as soon as I saw this. A few of my viewers recommended it to me, so I went ahead, made the plunge, purchased it, and I love it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. They do have a full support page over on RetroX's website. Links are in the description for it. At least, give it a try. Like always, thanks for watching.